Yo, welcome to the channel. This is the Rap 2K. And today, let's cover it, man. We got that Killy Kill Streak 2, Mr. Kilimanjaro. I fuck with Killy. I can't even lie to you, yo. In 2018, he was one of my artists that I found out about and I got, I took interest in. I ain't gonna lie. Out of Canada, him, Presser. I'm impressed with like one of my favorite two. I like there was a couple things going on in 2018. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. I did the 2018 freshman bragging on this page. If you ever go back and see the first page on this video, I had Killy going up against Six Nine at the time. Six Nine was hot as fish grease. This before the snitching. He had the gummo out. He had the cooler out. He had all them good ass songs that was out at the time. You feel me? And so I had Six Nine actually winning, but. It's nice to see Kelly still making music because he's actually a good ass artist. I can't even front with you. Yo, straight out the gate, he said, I've seen so many switch sides like a sideshow. Right. Facts. I kind of related to this album because I felt like, yo, he lost somebody or somebody in his family kind of um, turned on him, you feel me? And I just kind of related to this album. Uh, yeah, first three songs definitely kind of the production wise, I will say. Uh, is amazing. He said, if you get forgot who I am, I have to remind you on song number two. He said, I cannot be blamed. No, he can't, I cannot blame no one because I'm the biggest threat. <laughs> Patience is all I need in this perfect time in the song number three. That song, Wishing Well, is definitely tough. Go check that song out for real. Yo, Heart of Glass. I ain't really like that song too much. That was the first song that I didn't like too much. He said, let me talk to the beat. I don't talk, it don't talk back. It was a cool little song. Yo, trust nobody. I see it got the star next to it. I was expecting it to be a hit, but it's actually not a hit. So, so I can't trust nobody. Scared money don't make no money. That's the everyday quote. You already know. I mean, song number six. I fuck with that song. I definitely fuck with Picture Perfect. Picture Perfect is one of the hardest songs off this album. One of the hardest Kelly songs I've probably ever heard. He said, I'm one, I'm one of one. Left that in the past tense. Ow. <laughs> Yo, song number seven was a cool little bop, you feel me? Song number eight, she wanna be a, she wanna see a star boy. I can tell you all about astrology. I did like that bar out of that song. Yo, song number nine, I lost interest. I'm starting to lose interest at the song number nine. I don't know what it is. At the song number nine, I started to lose interest. I feel like song number 10 is a low key hit. That Find a Thing song is definitely, uh, hey, it's going to be around too. And I feel like that song is going to be one of Killy's Achilles hits. I'm not going to front with you. Yo, I didn't listen to Young Ben so much. I didn't listen to his 77 song album that I can tell you when he makes some trash music. And that song number 12, the beat is cool, but Young Ben's, I've heard better Young Ben's. That's all I'm going to say. I've heard way better Young Ben's. Song number 11 was cool. He said, I swear my path to the peace is so hard to find. And I, I totally agree with that, you feel me? I totally agree with that. Song number 12, is nothing special about that song. Song number 13 got an outcast feel to it, you feel me? Like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of it's kind of weird, but it got, a, it got an outcast feel to it. Especially that feature that comes in, like, yeah, yo, he just kind of set up, he just kind of changed the vibe of the song, like, I like I like artists like that that like can change the vibe of the song. They don't be on beat on the same tempo as the same artist that that they rapping with. You feel me? Like kind of change the vibe of the whole song. You feel me? And I kind of like that how he did that. Yo, song number fourteen. I just feel like it's a suicide song. He talking about demons eating you alive. This people people in their dark moments. You know you know how people go through their dark moments and. When they did some shit and they just can't tell nobody. I, them demons will eat you the fuck up. You feel me? People, I don't know. People be facing demons every day, man. I don't know what people be going through, but some people be facing demons, man. That song Pyro is not a hit. That song, uh, that last one is not it. I can't even front with you. Like, the first song was 10 times better. 
And that's all I'm going to say. Like, I like Kelly. I like Kelly. I like Kelly music. I think this was a good ass album overall. I feel like out of my 2018, yo, 2018, if you look at my freshman bracket from the first video on this page, yo, the artists that I talk about are literally, literally running the game right now. Literally running the game right now, yo. I'm not even going to tell you who the artists are because I want you to go visit that video. And y'all tell me what y'all think. Yo, the whole reason I started doing this is because the 2018 freshman bracket was weak as fuck. I was like, yo, it's no way that 6 ix not on the fucking cover. It's no way that Lil Baby, NBA Young Boy, Rich the Kid, Lil Skies, yo, artists like Max O Cream, like, yo, King Combs, like, yo, it's artists that was out there. Jaden Smith, like, I'm just saying, yo, it was an artist that's out there that was so big at the time that, yo, it could have been a actual decent cover, you feel me? So. One of the worst covers I've ever seen in the history, history, history of XXL is the 2018 freshman cover. And that's what actually motivated me to start doing these videos, you feel me? Artists like Killy, man, they need more coverage. They definitely need more coverage, man, because he makes good fucking music. That's probably why he ain't making no fucking music, because people ain't talking about him, like, you feel me? Like, I, I understand, yo, it's a frustrating thing when you rapping, you feel me? Like... You want, you just want to make the music and get the attention, you feel me? So, yo, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. Killy, Killy, Killy. I gotta say, you sound like, you sound like Presser. You definitely sound like Presser a lot. Y'all, 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 um, Canada rappers be sounding, y'all kind of sound a little bit alike in, in, in certain ways, y'all feel me? Y'all got that discreet, I don't know, it's like a voice. That y'all be coming with, you feel me? Like I've heard it from every, literally every Canada rapper, you feel me? And I, I like it. I, I like it. I like it. That's all I'm gonna say, yo. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button, yo. If y'all want more reviews like this, I had to extend this review because niggas talk shit about my J Cole review. Said it was too short, you feel me? Even though the album wasn't that good, but it is what it is, yo. Here we are again. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, nigga.